Hi, I'm Sutipong from EDA International, Thailand. Today, I'm going to show you how to use the dynamic rotation and how to plug in the signal from OPC server into Trend Builder. Okay, now looking to the example. The fan rotation is uh, according to the signal. When you're moving the mouse over the fan, you could see the signal. That is the simulation signal from Kraftworks. Okay. Now get back to configure. We can apply the rotation dynamic to the object. In this example, I'll use a simple object, the rectangle, and I apply the rotation dial to this object. You can select data text and choose the OPC DA signal. That is the OPC tag from OPC server. Or you can use the simulation variable. Okay. In this case, I will use the simulation and click OK. You need to specify the rotation direction and the start anchor in anchor, or you can set anchor and pivot by click on the button, set anchor and pivot. This is, this is the pivot, and you can set the finish anchor. Then, if you finish, place escape on the keyboard to get back to property inspector. You, can, you could see the start anchor and the end anchor, or you can specify if you choose the rotation direction as clockwise, the start anchor could be 360. Then the anchor I can set to zero. Okay. Now you have to specify the range override. In this example, the simulation signal has the range zero to 1000. Then click OK. You can change the color of the object by double-click on the object and select light color or fill color or shadow color as you like. Now go to runtime. You can see. Seeing the signal is decreasing from 1,000 to zero, then the object will rotate in counterclockwise direction. If I change the signal from simulate variable to the OPC tag, OPC DA, and choose iconic simulator, simulate PLC, and then outputs, then the float, and then OK. The float have the range override 0 to 1000. And I have used the slider to force the signal float. The range is 0 to 1000. Slider, select continuous update, and click OK. Then go to runtime. When I move the slider, the object is rotated according to, to the signal. When I increase the signal, the object is rotated in clockwise direction. In this way, you can force the animation according to the signal. Now we're going to show you how to use the train viewer. Select train viewer from the toolbar, Iconix train view 32 active X control, and adjust its size. Double click to select the OPC tag in pen tab. 
click OPC tag and choose the signal. I use the signal from the Simulate PLC folder in OPC DA tab. Just select uh, multiple signal as you want. Then click OK. Then click OK again. Now get back to runtime. Okay, you can see the signal is plotting on the trend viewer, and you can see the description, value, time, and date. You can explore the signal along the time by double click on the control, and you can freeze by click on freeze button, and then you can explore the signal with your mouse. When you move the mouse along the signal in the trend viewer, the description, well, uh, the value, time, and that is changed according, according to the signal. When you click freeze mode again, it will play again with real-time signal from the OPC server. If you would like to zoom in, you can press on chip key on your keyboard and then cover your mouse over the area you want to see. You can zoom in again and again. If you would like to get back to the original state, just right click on the control. Okay. You can configure red. This, uh, the default red is one second. And trend period, the default is two minutes. You can change to five minutes. Then when you change the trend period, the sample, you change accordingly to the trend period too. Click apply and OK. Then get back to runtime. The trend period will change from two minutes to five minutes. In the trend viewer, you can uh, separate the signal by right click on the signal you would like, and then choose stack plot into a new plot. Click stack plot and select the signal you would like to combine. The signal will combine again into the same viewer. In the trend viewer, you can select the type or plot type from time plot to other type such as bar plot and click apply and see the result. And this is the circular. When you choose time plot, you can specify uh, in the pen tab about the signal you would like. Just double click on it, double click on the signal you would like to configure. And then choose some style you like to apply to, such as star plot, pen maker, or show samples. Then click OK. Just you can see the pen marker and star plot apply to the signal. Well, now I'm going to show you how to import the external graphic. When you would like to use the external graphic, you can click on import image or import meta file. Click on import image. You would like and select the object, uh, select the image you would like to import. 
you can apply the dynamic or some action to the object, such as location slider and use the location type and set limit and press escape on your keyboard and give it a signal. I use a simulation signal from uh, side and click OK. Then apply. If you would like to reuse the graphic, you can put this object into the graphic library. You can drag and drop, and you can see the graphic is in your library. Then you can reuse it as you like in any file. It uh, will remain in your graphic library. And if you have the dynamic, you apply. If you would like to arrange the object, select the object you would like to, and then select the arrangement, such as button. Top or any other. 